Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add audio tracks into your iMovie video projects on iOS. I'm gonna show you a couple of different methods here, including adding the built-in audio tracks available within iMovie, along with the approach that allows you to actually include copyrighted tracks from your favorite artist. Now, a disclaimer here, and that is that you aren't really allowed to use copyrighted music, especially if you're uploading to platforms like YouTube that will detect copyrighted material in your videos and will flag your videos for demonetization. So anybody with aspirations of making videos for monetization, I would strongly recommend against using copyrighted material. But for those of you wanting to have a little bit of fun with a project to share amongst friends and family, there's really no harm in using the songs from your favorite artists. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. If you are, on the other hand, creating videos for commercial applications, I would strongly recommend you source your tracks from recognized sound libraries or even the YouTube Creator Studio which incorporates thousands of music tracks in all the various genres that would really appeal to just about any viewer. And you can go and get these tracks for free within the YouTube studio. So I'll leave a link to how you can do that in the description box below. But if you do wanna have a bit of fun with your videos and use tracks from your favorite artist, I'll show you how to do that right now. So let's get started. So to add audio to an existing project, tap on the plus button icon on the bottom left-hand corner of the preview window. And then we can go into the audio tab and search for music. Now iMovie has its own soundtracks that you can use. And these are royalty-free tracks, which means they are not copyrighted and you can use them freely on any social media platform. Having said that, even though these are royalty-free, Keep in mind, they can still present you with copyright issues, especially if you're uploading to YouTube, where the algorithm can sometimes mistakenly flag these as copyrighted material. And then you have to go through the process of disputing that claim with YouTube. Now, this will not prevent you from uploading and playing the videos and reaching a wide audience. It just can present some problems with regards to monetization, in which case I highly recommend you use the music from the YouTube Creator Studio. And again, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. So if you'd wanna use one of these tracks, tap on any of them and then tap on the plus button and you'll see that iMovie drops it down below the video clips and you now have an audio track playing on your timeline. One of the questions that's come up quite frequently on the channel is how to change the position of an audio track so I'll quickly explain that now. If you tap on the audio track and then tap on foreground, it will convert the track from a background element into foreground. And this allows you the option to change the in and out points and scroll the audio track anywhere along the timeline, which gives you a little bit more flexibility, especially when you're adding multiple audio tracks. So that's how you add an audio track using iMovie. Now let's have a look at the process of adding an audio track from one of your favorite artists. Now, in order to add a track by one of your favorite artists, you could try to do the same thing by tapping on the plus button, navigating to the audio tab, and then selecting the music from your music folder. You might be lucky and the track you're looking for can be placed directly into iMovie. If you've purchased the music and it's residing in the cloud, you'll need to go back to Apple's music app and tap on the download icon to download it to your local folder, then come back into iMovie and try to add it. However, for some tracks, even if you have purchased them, you still won't be able to add it to iMovie because of the DRM copyright protection. If the track is copyrighted, you'll see a cloud icon with a strike through it. And if you tap on that track, you'll get a pop-up dialogue box telling you that the song is DRM protected and it can't be used by iMovie. Now that's gonna happen for a large percentage of the audio tracks that you may have in your music library even if you have purchased it. It doesn't sound fair, but it's just the way it works. So for the next part of the tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can get around this restriction by recording that audio track and then bringing it into iMovie. In order to record an audio track from your iPhone, we're gonna use the screen recording option. We're gonna swipe down from the top right-hand corner of the screen 
in order to bring up our control center. And in that control center should be a screen recording icon. Now, not everyone's gonna see this at first glance. So if you don't see it already, we're gonna go into the settings icon in order to enable it. Let's go to settings and then tap on control center, tap on customize control and scroll down to the more controls section until you see the screen recording option. Tap on the plus button to add it and you've now added the screen recording option to your control center. So if we go back now and swipe down from the right hand corner of the screen, we're now gonna see that option for screen recording. So now that we've set up the screen record function, we're ready to record our music. You're going to need a third party music streaming app such as Spotify to record the track. So for this example, I'll quickly record a track from Spotify. Once the track is over, tap on the red timer icon that appears on the top left of the screen or swipe down from the top right of the screen again to reveal the control center and tap on the record button again to stop the recording. Your screen recording is now stored into the camera roll. Open up iMovie and tap on the plus button and navigate to the screen recording video file. Tap on the three dotted icon to the right of the play button and in the sub menu that appears, tap on audio only. Your audio track will be placed on the timeline as a blue track, which means it's a foreground audio element. So you can adjust the in and out points by using the yellow bars on the left and the right and even move it along the timeline to any position you want. To adjust the volume, tap on the track so that it's highlighted and tap on the volume icon and move the slider left and right to adjust the level up or down accordingly. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell next to it so you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.